In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Ag2CO3 plus HNO3. This is silver carbonate, and this is nitric acid, a strong acid. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. You can see I have two silver atoms, just one here. Let's put a 2 in front of the AgNO3. That balances the silvers. But now I have two of these nitrates here. So I need to put a 2 in front of the HNO3. That balances the nitrates. I have two hydrogens here, two hydrogens here. Looks like everything is balanced. So now we can write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, carbonates are insoluble most of the time, and silver compounds often insoluble. So this is going to be a solid. We'll start out with solid silver carbonate. This nitric acid, this is a strong acid, so it's going to dissociate into its ions. We're going to put AQ. Silver nitrate is soluble. Nitrates are almost always soluble. Carbon dioxide is a gas, and water, that's going to be a liquid. So we have the states for our net ionic equation here. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we're just going to leave this silver carbonate just together. I'll write the states in later. Hydrogens in group 1, that's going to be 1 plus, and the whole nitrate ion is 1 minus. So I have two hydrogen ions, two of those H plus ions, and then I have two of these nitrate ions here as well. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, nitrate, that's 1 minus, silver is going to be 1 plus, so I have two silver ions, two Ag plus, and then I have two nitrate ions, just like in the reactants we had two nitrate ions. And then we don't split gases or liquids apart in net ionic equations. So we'll have our carbon dioxide gas and then our liquid water, that H2O there. So this is what we call the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So we have our reactants here and then down here we have our products. I can see that I have two nitrate ions here in the reactants and in the products. But everything else is unique. So I'm going to cross out these spectator ions, these two nitrate ions. Everything else is unique. That makes this the net ionic equation for Ag2CO3 plus HNO3. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for silver carbonate plus nitric acid. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced. And if you look at the charge, it's balanced as well. We have 2 times 1 plus. We have 2 plus in the reactants and 2 times 1 plus, 2 plus in the products. So charge is the same on both sides. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Ag2CO3 plus HNO3. Thanks for watching.